Hello, my name is Peter. I'm product owner at Decision Rules. And today I would like to show you how you can organize your rules using spaces and folders. First, I think that we should start with an explanation. What is the space? Essentially, it's a place where all your rules are located and where all your work is done. Something like your workplace or an office. And for what you can use a space, well, to differentiate between your teams, company departments or projects that you are currently working on. Or the spaces can be used to create separated development, testing, staging and production environments. Here is an example of how such a structure can look like within the organization using spaces to differentiate between company departments and using folders to organize projects and rules related to different business processes. And this is a similar structure. The only difference is that in this case, the organization is using spaces to differentiate between testing and production environments and folders to organize departments and individual projects. Now let's go to the tool where I will show you the benefits of spaces in action. Here you can see how easy it is to switch between spaces, for example, from operations to HR and then to marketing. Here is an example how it can look like if you are using spaces to differentiate between individual projects or company departments. Previously, I was talking about how you can use spaces to create production, testing, staging and development environments. A really useful way how you can use spaces is to create production, testing, staging and development environment. To show you this in action, here I have a rule inside a testing space and I can easily move or clone the entire rule to the production space. Another option is to share the rule so both spaces can work on the same rule at the same time. Really, the ways how you can use spaces are unlimited. To stop sharing the rule with other spaces, you can simply click on the button remove from space and the sharing will be cancelled. Now let's talk about folders. As I was telling you before, the use of spaces was to differentiate the individual environments, projects and departments. The use of folders is to organize your rules, to have an overview of which rule is connected with which business process, department, team or project. Allow me to show you the work with folders. You have unlimited number of folders that you can create and unlimited ability to nest them in each other. Thanks to that, you can keep all your rules organized in the best possible way. And it's this easy to create a new rule directly in a selected folder. To move rules and individual folders, you can simply drag and drop them. To have a better view, you can always use this button, expand all folders, to see where is which rule located. Here you can toggle between space view to see all your rules in a selected space or a folder view to see just the rules inside the selected folder. To sum this up, use the spaces to differentiate between individual environments, projects and company departments and use the folders like an archive to organize your rules and have a better overview. Thank you for your attention and wish you a great day.